Hello everyone, my name is Sloan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going plant shopping and I'm so excited because I haven't been in like a small plant shop, like a non big box store plant shop in a month. So I am super, super, super pumped, but we are on a mission today. My mom and I have been plant shopping together like multiple times, as you do, and my mom really likes watermelon pepperomiates, but she doesn't have one. And I've been planning on getting one for her for Christmas for a really long time. And now I need to find one because it's almost Christmas. So I'm hoping that this plant shop that I'm at, which is one of my favorite plant shops in anywhere near me, I would say it's in my top two favorite plant shops. Uh, it's called Renovation Jungle in Des Moines. I'm hoping that they have watermelon pepperomias. And if they don't, it's going to end up being a wild goose chase to find one before Christmas. Uh, but this is all I have time for for tonight. So this is where we're looking. And obviously when you're watching this, it's after Christmas. I could not post this until after Christmas because I didn't want my mom to know what I was buying her. So that's the story there. But not only am I buying my mom a present, I am also very much in the plant buying mood. So I'll probably buy something for myself as well. So I'm really excited. And let's go see what Renovation Jungle has and stick around for the plant haul at the end. So I just stepped inside and there's a variegated Shilaflera. I'm probably not saying that right. I'm umbrella tree right here. Arbicola is what it's called for 73. Very pretty. And then here is a, what I think is a Thanksgiving cactus. I don't completely know the difference, but um, my Christmas cactus blooms don't look like this. So I'm going to guess it's Thanksgiving over here for 47. And these are really, really gorgeous blooms. Wow, that is so pretty. And a marble queen right here that is so full and so gorgeous. Look for the price on her for 29. Absolutely gorgeous. Coming around over here, there's a really big monster and a basket that I'm definitely not gonna be able to see the price of, but I love this basket. It's not the point, but I do love the basket. Looks like a really big fern over here also in a basket and a giant ponytail palm oh my gosh i really hope my ponytail palms are one day this luscious wow and she is 83 which makes sense because she is very luscious and full looks like a fishbone cactus up there for 35 and some cebu blues Let's see, these are very long. I'll be really curious to see what the price on these are. 63, yeah, these are the biggest Cebu Blues I've ever seen in person, for sure. There's a couple of them. Like, they are just, look how long this vine is. Crazy. What a beaut. Okay, I love this little section every time I come here, because this is all just like a bunch of little plants. So this is... A little begonia, I think. I think they're often called strawberry saxifrage, but I think it's technically a begonia. A little Sansevieria samurai. So something about these that I think is interesting is that they look a lot like the Sansevieria pinguiculas, like when the pingu pinguiculas are small. And it's honestly kind of hard for me to tell the difference, but I mean, I guess these just don't grow like the pinguiculas do, so that's the difference. Oh my gosh, look at that. Our search is already over. I was like, honestly, kind of fully prepared to drive to tons of plant shops looking for these. So that's pretty exciting. It looks like there's a couple back there. Yeah, search is over $8, watermelon pepperomia. They might have more around also. So I'll keep looking. Mona Lisa lipstick. Some pepperomia batusifolias. And some Hoyas down here. Let's see, there's a few. There's a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. This one is a Hoya Kentiana, variegated for 10. There's a Hoya Gracialis all the way back there. Let's see if I can reach that with my other hand. That's what that one looks like. Hoya Australis, that's kind of cool. I feel like I usually just see the Hoya Australis Lisas. It's kind of fun to see just the Australis and the Hoyo Pupilcalyx speckled. I think I decided I am going to get a Pupilcalyx at some point because I've heard they're just really easy Hoyas and I think I need something easy because I just have not done well with Hoyas in the past. 
and Ahoya Shaperdi eye. But yeah, I think I'll get a Pubucalyx Pubu Pubu and see how that goes. And I don't know, these look like carrots. What are these? They're so cute. A Selaginella fern. It's got like pretty red backs. It's gorgeous. You have to water that a lot to keep it because it's in like a tiny two inch pot. Selaginella fern. But that one is all green. Looks like a carrot. Ficus umbrellata right here for 27. Already got roots coming out the bottom. Beautiful. Looks like there's an orchid. I don't want to disturb that to see what the price is, but it's really pretty. And I almost missed this really, really large elephant bush for 79. Beautiful. Looks like there's a few succulents over here. Here's a sedum golden glow. I think the orange means clearance. So these are, this is $4. Yeah. So it must be like a little clearance section. Hmm. Yeah, so there's an orchid down here for five. That's fun. I wonder what it blooms like. I don't know, I don't have an orchid. And then a classic, a Atonia nerf plant. I've been wanting to buy one of these for a long time. Is today the day? We will just find out, I guess. Syngonium down here. Here's our Raphidophora. How much are you? Oh my gosh, this is so big. For 28. It's got a lot of vines in there. That would be a good purchase if you're looking for a Raphidophora for sure. Here's a Monstera Adansonii for 33. Beautiful. And some Ficus Altissimas. Oh, look at those aerial roots. I love that. Or Ficus Audrey Yellow Gem. I think that's pretty, I'm pretty sure, oh, I cannot talk. I'm pretty certain it's the same thing as a Ficus Altissima after some research I did last time for 29. So the craziest roots. I would definitely buy the, oh boy, I don't have one of these. So I'd be like, I would buy this if I don't have, didn't already have one, but I don't. Mmm, that's tempting. Oh my gosh, these are like that too. That is so cool. This Monstera is like creeping up there. Let's see how much this Monstera is. 30. Very cute little heart leaves. Doesn't look like any fenestrations yet, but that's okay. Over here looks like a Philodendron Brazil. For 26. I already got some roots coming out the bottom. My Brazil looks so bad right now. Maybe, look how big this leaf is. Huh, maybe I should get a, another Brazil. Looks like a Philodendron Birkin up there. There's a couple more, so we'll look at the prices as we get further down. I don't know what this is. Imperial Red. That's cool, I've heard of these. What is this? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so bright green. Oh, it's a bird's nest fern. For 42, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Wow. It's another Rufidophora. Some Neon Pothos for 22. Those under Moonlight for, cannot see it, 24. The lights were not helping me out there. And here is a Birkin. 23. This is a variegated tree ivy for 22. Ooh. This Brazil is really yellow. That's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, it's flowering. Is that what that is? No, those are just aerial roots. It looks like a flower. <laughs> it's so full. Oh my goodness. For $26. Wow. My Brazil looks so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, I almost passed this Marble Queen. Wow. These leaves are ginormous. Like, 
That's crazy. Over here, there's a Homolomina Emerald Gem. I don't know a lot about Homolominas, but that's a really cool shaped leaf. I almost got a Homolomina here one time and I didn't, I wonder. I don't see the kind that it was, but I don't remember what it was. Um, this I saw for the first time like a month ago. It's a Farfugium Firefly. I think they're so cool. They look like there's little fireflies in the leaves. Down here, it looks like some philodendron micans for 40. Oh, they're so velvety. Some aglaonema. Ooh, this anthurium has really pretty flowers. I like those a lot. My anthurium hasn't flowered in a really long time. I'm working on it. What is this one called? A Calathea White Star. It's 33. I like that it's kind of pink. Oh, there's a really happy string of pearls. Over here are some ferns. And a Pilea peperomioides. Some peperomia. Oh, here's some Hoya publicalix. Is Oh my gosh, that's huge. For only $40. Wow. This is kind of their prayer plant section. Oh my goodness. This rattlesnake stick is huge. Oh my gosh. This thing is massive. I hope mine gets this big. How much is it? It is 48. Wow. Oh, they're so pretty. I kind of like this one. Beautiful. These trio stars are really large too. And some lemon lime marantas down there. A lot of times they want the ones they have here are flowering, which is really fun. This one's 14. I really like these ornaments. It is 100%. Not the point of wearing here, but I really like them. Some begonias. Here's a begonia maculata. Begonia Benigo. Really, really full enjoys. And some ZZ plants. These ZZs are 53. This little section is really fun. I think this is new. At least I haven't seen it. And there's kind of smaller plants. So this is a Begonia looking glass. It's very sparkly. Also, I kind of just went around the back of the little thing. There is a lemon lime heartleaf philodendron for 11 and a little goldfish plant that's so cute. No flowers on this one, but this one is 11. There is a Scandapsis exotica. I, oh, I own an Algeris. I don't have an exotica. Very sparkly. I did not expect Scandapsis to be as sparkly as they are. I think that's so fun. Cause it doesn't really, they don't look sparkly, you know, on camera. I feel like there's a spider plant for 11 and anthurium superbum for 23. Over on this little table, there are more Hartley philodendrons, both the green kind and the lemon lime, and then some other philodendrons. This is philodendron Wenlandii. Huh, I didn't know there was a philodendron Wenlandii. I feel like there's a Syngonium Blendlandii. Yeah. Some Peperomias, these are really cute. Oh my gosh. Little Tuscany, I really like this one. It's kind of sparkly too. Wow. The only Peperomia I have right now is a string of turtles. Over here are more Fetonias. Oh, they're so pretty. Little Monsteras. In Brazil. Oh, some little snake plants. Those are cute. Oh my goodness. Look at how big these watermelon peperomias are. I'll probably get my mom like a bigger one, like maybe one of these. This one is like stuck. I really don't want to break it. Yeah, 16. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited they have these. I'll pick one out for my mom after I stop recording. It's too much work to look now. 
Okay, I think these are the Scandapsis Argurius, yes. Okay, so these actually, they have more green than silver. Let's go take this to the other one and like compare them. Okay, cool. So now that they're side by side, I can tell the difference. But if they weren't side by side, like I can, side by side, they're really different. But if they weren't side by side, I think I would be like, no, they look the same. <laughs> cool to see them together though Ooh, there's a staghorn fern right here that has the little thing in the middle i can't remember what that's called where are i don't it's like tangled up in the other fern okay i got it out she is 13 Over here, there's more pothos. Looks like some golden pothos over here. We haven't really seen those yet. What? For 12. Wow. It's a huge. There's so many stems in there. So much bigger than my golden pothos right now, but I'm growing mine from cuttings. There's a peace lily right here for. 11 there's only one and then there are these which is a platinum piece of i've never seen that guys this is the biggest jaboa i have ever seen it is 170 that's crazy i cannot wait for mine to get this tall this is five feet tall 100 because it's actually taller than me so it's like over five two this is so cool over on the other side is a bird of paradise. Here's a ficus microcarpa, which I think is the same as a ficus ginseng, I'm pretty sure. This one is so cute and little. And a raven zizi. This ficus audrey is huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is 63. What a beaut. Here's a philodendron burl marks. I feel like I only ever see these in large pots and I think I'd like to find a small-ish one. So I'll have to keep looking. Ooh, over here, there are some Hoya. Oh, they're so pretty. I don't wanna like, they're very, this one is like hung on that one. So I don't wanna spin it because I think it would just fall off. But here, I'll spin it anyway. Um, it's a Hoya Crimson Princess for 30, but most of the leaves are green. That's actually kind of fun. There's some rubber trees. Sorry, it's so dark over here. Oh my goodness. Hi, welcome in. These are Butterwort Pinguiculas. I've been wanting one of these so much. I just had these on my wish list video, like really recently. So that's so exciting. I have the perfect little pot for one of these too. Oh, it's gonna be hard to pick one out. They're so tiny. I wonder how big they actually get. I've never seen one in real life. Is there Alocasia sinuata? It's really pretty. It's 38. My Alocasia black ninja is kind of like flopping like that, and I don't know why. So if you know why that happens, let me know. This one's also 38.99. Yeah, I don't know how to take care of Alocasia. It's in my bathroom. So it's getting a lot of humidity, so that's good. Right here is a Hoya Crutzii for 30. And a Philodendron Mykins for 60. This is a huge string of turtles for 60. I've never seen that the flowers are kind of like a pink, like a brown color. Mine always just look green. There's a Hoya Gracialis for 32. Oh, there's some Lithops over here. These are so cute. I really want some Lithops. They are 13. And over here are some bigger Hoyas. This is a Hoya Cornosa for 22. I say bigger because they're bigger than like the two inch ones that we saw originally. Hoya Crimson Queen for 18. Hoya Astralis for 23. Hoya Chelsea for 28. These are zebra plants for 16. Oh, and there's some huge watermelon pepperonias up here. I feel like this would be too big for my mom for 30. 
Oh, I think this is a Publix Alex. No, it's a Hoya Publix Alex. Oh, it is. Red button for 25. Just whacked me in the face. And then down here, a curly orchid cactus for 43. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of picking out some plants now, and I will check back in with you either at my car or at my house, depending on how dark it is. Hello everyone, it ended up being way too dark in my car afterwards for me to show you a haul in my car like I normally do. So we're back at home and I can show you everything that I got. I don't know what order these are in because she wrapped them all up because it's cold here. Oh, here we go. I got the little Butterwort ping right here on my wish list, and I'm so excited about it. I have the perfect little pot to put it in. It looks like a snail and it's a little two inch pot. I think it'll just sit right in it. Um, it's supposed to stay moist at all times, it says. So I hope, I hope it does well. I guess we'll find out. Next, I got this Fatonia. I finally bought one. I feel like I've been thinking about buying one of these for a really long time and I don't really know why I've been putting it off. Um, I don't know, it was just never the right time and now is the right time. You can't really see it in front of my Christmas tree. Maybe that's better. There you go, oh, it's so pretty. And I have a really good spot for this, um, which is maybe part of the reason why I've put it off for so long. I like to have a spot for my plant before I purchase it. A lot of times I like to have the pot ready too, um, and I have both of those. So this is gonna hang up in my boyfriend's office. It's gonna look so cute. It's so hard to get them out of the paper. And this is the last plant, the watermelon peperomia for my mom for Christmas. I think she's gonna love it. I'm so excited. And I'm really happy that it comes with like care tips for her. Although she's so good with plants, like she doesn't even need the care tips probably. I don't, she's good with all plants. It'll be fine, but yeah, I'm so excited to give this to her. But I have one last thing. They also had this cute little peacock chair for sale. And I think this is vintage, I'm pretty sure. Like it, it looks vintage, I don't know. And I've looked at these before and they sell for upwards of like $30 a lot of times. But this one was only 12 and I can just stick a plant in it, you know, in a cute pot. Won't it look so cute? And in Animal Crossing New Leaf, I had a peacock chair and I loved it and I thought it was so cute. And I sat in a peacock chair once in real life and I thought it was the coolest and I really wanted like a real life peacock chair, but they're kind of big and I don't really have like a good spot to put it. And they're also like, like if this was, imagine this is like a human chair, like who wants to sit in this all the time? It's not like a functional chair. It's like a chair you look at. And I just can't justify having a chair in my house that you can't really even use that easily. I don't know. So this is perfect instead. So yeah, I'm excited to put this in my office sunroom that's almost done being renovated. Hey guys, it's Sloan from the future. It's now Christmas Eve and I'm just finishing up wrapping my mom's Christmas present and I wanted to show you you know, what the whole thing uh, looks like. So here's the watermelon peperomia. I potted it up in this pot that I got on Amazon. I'll link it below. It's so cute because you can draw a little face on it. And yeah, I'm sure she'll draw something cuter than what I did, but that's what she's getting for now. Um, and so then I also gave her Expo markers that are colored so she can draw whatever she wants. And then what's really cool about it is that you can put sunglasses or just like regular glasses on it. I need both hands to do this, so one sec. Not only is it, you know, a place to put your plants, it's also storage for glasses. And my entire family wears glasses and, you know, my mom has lots of sunglasses too. So I thought she would like this and she's also getting a pair of sunglasses in the gift as well. So that's the whole gift. And thanks again for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.